everyone today in this video I'm going to show you how to build this awesome relic sifter it's great for finding coins and buttons and a bunch of cool stuff and it's really helpful too how the dirt goes away and it has the swivel sort of sifting box so I'm going to show you step by step how to make the sifter so stay tuned and be sure you and be sure that you're subscribed we're going to quickly go through the materials you'll need to make this sifter. So one of the main things to the sifter is lumber. All right, this is the type of lumber I'm going to be using today. Uh, it's three and a half inches this way and about an inch thick. Uh, this was actually laying around, uh, you know, the scrap from a other project and I was going to use it today. And you could probably just go down to your Home Depot or whatever lumber place and buy some stuff like this. It's uh, it's really smooth on this side. On the other side, it's really rough. Okay, and I think I have enough to make the sifter. But if you guys don't have that option, you can always just take this fence board. You can see it's cut up there, and it's used for fences. But you can take like a skill saw or a table saw and cut like how thick you want your uh, screen to be when you're sifting out. Uh, if you're doing bigger loads, you should probably have a bigger, you know, width to it so the stuff doesn't fall out. And uh, this stuff is super cheap. It's like three bucks per panel and you'll probably only need like three of them to build this awesome sifter. Alright, so let's move over. Here's the mesh I'm going to be using today. You know, it's a really key element in uh, a sifter. And over here, I'm going, like, I'm going to use these bolts. Um, these are about three inches long. And I've got two nuts on, well, a nut on each bolt. And we're going to use some washers there with it. You're going to need a measuring tape, of course, and um, a staple gun, and a drill to drill in screws, and we'll obviously need screws, too. To cut my lumber, I'm going to use my, no, not my skill saw, my chop saw. And if you don't have this handy, you can always use a hand saw. All right, so let's jump into this um, video, guys. I just wanted to say that uh, I... You know, I've seen people use this type of sifter on YouTube, such as like Nugget Noggins use a uh, type of sifter like this, and um, I haven't really found a good how to make this type of sifter. So I'm going to do a really good, um, like I'm going to give all my measurements and all the detail I did in this video. Alright, so let's hop into this. Uh, first off, we're going to make the box you know so you can put the stuff in uh, the you know the relic <laughs> the dirt and so we're gonna make the sifter and then we're gonna do the legs and uh, I'll bring you guys along too okay guys I calculated how big I wanted my sifter to be so I want it to, to be you know um, three feet this way and two feet this way that's what I feel comfortable with you know and um, I quickly realized that I don't have enough of this lumber to do the legs and instead I'm just going to use a two by four two two by fours for the legs and it's a it's a <laughs> fine uh, so we will cut these with the chop saw
now that we have our lumber all cut out, I just kind of put it together without any screws. But um, this, so I, it's two feet by two feet, and I have about a foot for the handle that I'm going to make. So right now I'm just kind of basically going to trace out um, a handle grip I kind of want for it. Here's kind of the hand grip I, w or like handle for the sifter I kind of designed. So it comes around like this, and it comes into a point right here. Um, I, I would probably do it a curve, but right, I actually do not have a jigsaw. If you have a jigsaw, you can easily do curves and stuff. But I'm just going to use that handsaw to cut this out. So I'm going to cut this first one out. And uh, then I want to take this piece of wood and I want to trace the handle on the other piece of wood and then cut it. So I have like the same uh, size handles for each one so it doesn't look funny or anything. So yeah, I'm, if you, you can always just make your own. Alright, so I cut it out. It's kind of a little rough from the sawing, but I'm going to take my sander and sand it down. And I'm going to use my Dremel tool just to make, like, round out the edges, um, which will help a lot. It's a com comfortable size for, you know, grab for me, but if you have bigger hands, you probably want a bigger one. Um, and then I just trace out on the other sides, so I'll cut out this handle also. Awesome. Alright, there you guys go. I just cut the handle, but... It's split up here when I did it, which I guess is fine. See, I don't really have this up here. It's kind of just flat. But that's not going to stop me from making this awesome sifter. So next, I'm just going to sand off these. You can see they're really rough and with my sander. And then I'm going to use my Dremel to take off most of these edges and maybe take off a little bit of this point because... It's kind of sharp, but I don't really want to hurt myself. So I sanded it down pretty good. It's still a little rough. But these edges here are kind of uncomfortable when I grip, grasp this. So I'm going to take my Dremel and just take off these edges. And I kind of rounded the point a little bit here. So that's pretty sweet. And then I think we'll be done with the handle and we'll start putting this sifter together. <laughs> There you guys go. I used the Dremel and I rounded both sides of this and now it's really comfortable and the edges is kind of piercing in my hand. Uh, sweet. So we are going to go on. Alright guys, I kind of displayed it all out now. Um, I measured two feet from right here and I marked it right here, right there. And then you can see I put my lumber or this little piece of wood on the other side of it on both sides so it's nice uh, and then we're going to take these nice I don't, they might be three inch nails three inches nine screws we're going to pre-drill so we don't crack the wood into uh, just two holes I'm um, two screws per board on each corner I'm going to use my square to make sure that the boards are square and they're not, I won't screw in these two boards um, in a, you know, a wrong angle. There we go, right there. Move that a little bit. Just put these screws in a little bit 
so far. And we're going to do that to all of the rest of the boards. Here it is, guys. Man, I'm super stoked. This is going to be awesome. You can see the handles here and the bolts down there. This is actually super light. This is really awkward to hold with one hand, though. <laughs> it's super light, and it's about a really good size for a relic sifter, I think. Two feet by two feet. Sweet. I am so stoked. I love that this is all coming together, and it's just looking awesome. Next, I'm actually going to measure about uh, four inches from the end right here and then I'm going to drill a hole which is one fourth um, one fourth bit in here both of these sides so we can attach the legs and have that swivel motion both over here so that's what I'm going to do next and then I'm going to put the mesh in and then we'll make the legs and cut the legs and stuff Ooh, I am excited so I'm actually going to do two and a half inches from the end here. And I'm just going to use my drill to drill a hole right in the center, which I'm going to calculate the center about a half inch from right here. You can see my mark I made up here. I'm just going to drill a nice hole. Uh, I'm going to make sure it's straight because that is a key opponent and my camera's in the way so right about there there we go and we're gonna do that to the other side it is now time for the mesh now this worked perfect because this um bail or whatever of this mesh was actually two feet so I have a perfect amount so I don't have to cut it this way I only have to cut it that way and this can be a pain because you know in a roll uh, what I like to do is put this in the corner in the corner and put a small screw right there to hold it in place at both ends so that's what I'm gonna do I put five screws here and now you see how it's now it's it's pretty easy to roll it out and I'm going to put a couple right down here just to hold it there and cut off the extra stuff with um, a pair of you know wired clippers alright guys there you go I put some screws along here I hold this away as I cut it with these scissors or I don't know what they're called wire cutters along here and then I'm going to go with the staple gun give it some more support for this large screen there you go guys I put the screen on I there was a little bit um, hanging over from when I clipped it so I just took a hammer and I just nailed this way and it just folded right over and then I folded right over and stapled it and screwed it and it's really nice uh, I plan on you know putting about 20 maybe 30 pounds of dirt in here so you want the screen to be really on this uh, on the wood because you don't want it falling out <laughs> that, that would be funny um, so next we are going to do the legs and um, I'm pretty stoked to get this all finished I've been working on it for a couple hours but I really like it so far I'm now going to move on to cutting the legs for this sifter um, I measured 33 inches and this is a leg right here this is just some scrap 33 inches so um, so I did 33 because it seemed like a nice little height for me when I'm, you know, doing my thing. And, uh, so if you're taller, you probably want a taller, um, 
leg so it's up higher and it's not down low or too high it just needs to be right in the center there so I have another leg here that I measured out and then I do have another one right here that I measured out too which is measured 26 inches and that's gonna be so let me just explain there's gonna be the sifting box right here the two legs and then down there there's gonna be a uh, support you know rest thing so the uh, so the legs won't you know break it's got more it's stronger <laughs> I'll sit, put it there here are the legs I did a I drilled a hole in there this hole I forgot to mention was uh, 5 and 16th that's how what the size of the bit was and also the size of the hole in there and uh, then I cut the corners off a little bit and then down there oh not this one I cut the corners down there too so when it's doing this it can do it nice and easy when this if it's just the blunt you know it rocks a lot and I'll, I'm going to cut the ends off that one and we're going to throw this thing together and then we're going to put that support in between these two legs and we might be done and of course my camera died when I was putting the bolts in <laughs> well I'll just explain what I did uh, I put the bolt through here, through both sides, and I put the washer in between there so there's no friction between the wood on both sides. And so far it's just, you know, it can move super easy. And now we're going to put the support in there, and we will be done with this project. I'm so super stoked. There you guys have it. Our awesome Relic Sister. It's so awesome, dudes. I'm so, like, I'm super hyped right now. Here's the back of it. Wow. I really like it. Here, I'll pick it up for you guys. Picks up just perfect, and it shakes really good. It's better with two hands, but... Man, I will use this, and hopefully I'll have some videos posted, too, of me sifting. I've got some places to, you know, search. Uh, the, which is a cool feature here is you can sift through it, and you don't have to, like, hold it and dig through it. You can put it down a little bit, and you can search through it like this, too. Well, at more of an angle like this sitting down which I really like about it and it folds up folds up sort of and um, one thing I'll probably put like a little handle here so I can you know hold it and walk to a site or something that's what I would do in the future awesome guys thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video be sure to hit that subscribe button if you have any questions about measurements or something, please let me know down in the comments below. I will get back to you as soon as I can. Um, and uh, if you can subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking my Sterling Silver logo over there and a couple of my last videos to the left. And we'll see you guys later. And hopefully... We'll find some good stuff, and, ha and hopefully you guys find some good stuff too. Peace out.